Epcot is an experimental prototype community of tomorrow that will never stop changing or never be completed. And that's what Walt Disney said. All who come to this happy place, welcome. Hey guys, Jose here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts about the new changes coming to Epcot. As Sunday, they announced some big news about Epcot, and I'm so excited to share the news with you, as I already shared this in the last video, but I want my full thoughts of what Epcot is going to be in this video. So Epcot is not about the future anymore, and my thoughts about that is it's it's kind of... It's kind of sad um, to let go of the old Epcot and bring in the new Epcot, but this is a mix of the new and old Epcot as we're going to get some new um, stuff um, in Future World, which Future World is divided in three sections now. World Discovery, World Celebration, and World Nature, which Epcot is now standing for the magic of possibilities, which to me that is cool because I know that Walt Disney said that we can always do the impossible so everything is possible. And speaking of Walt Disney, they are bringing a Walt Disney statue right next into the world um, celebration right next to Spaceship Earth and I'm so excited for a Walt Disney statue there that means so much Walt Disney had the idea of Epcot and when he was in the hospital before his death um, he told Roy about all the plans looking up in the ceiling and saying hey that's gonna be this place that's gonna be this place that's gonna be this place that's where the monorail is gonna go by and he had that all I all the ideas of Roy and sadly he passed away so he gave those ideas to Roy and Roy did his best of what he could do for the Magic Kingdom and then Roy sadly passed away and then the Walt Disney World team was trying to figure out something else and they said what about Epcot Walt Disney um, original idea about Epcot so they couldn't create a city but they created the World Showcase and future world so um the technologies and all that that walt disney um himself was so so good at and the world showcase showing the whole world and walk through the whole world so to me that is what epcot is and that's what walt disney said it's an experimental prototype community of tomorrow that will never stop changing or it will never be completed and that's why disney is doing this change unless there's still imagination left up in the world the theme parks will never stop changing and Disney will never stop changing and that's what Walt meant about that in my opinion. So yes, I am excited about these new changes. Of course, I'm going to miss old Epcot, but I love it. And speaking of changes, Spaceship Earth is going through a um, remodel as we know. So it's not going to go as a big remodel, but it's not going to show us the technologies anymore as we know technology now these days are with phones and all that and laptops and the camera. Now we have all of this technology. So there's going to be a storytelling story for Spaceship Earth of back then about the Egyptians and the Phoenicians. So the Phoenicians are still going to be there. We're still going to thank, um, you know, the Phoenicians for our ABCs. There's still Egyptians there. But we might lose that part where um, this person is inside um, his garage and working on the computer in some sort. So we're going to look forward to the future and that it's what future world is. But now there's no future world anymore. So now we're so confused, but I'm okay with it. I know that Disney's going to do a great job. The Imagineers are going to do a great job with Epcot. And they're not going to let Epcot down because they won't let Walt Disney down. And that's why they're putting a Walt Disney statue there in Epcot. Also in Epcot, there's going to be a new pavilion at World Celebration. And it will be home to the base of Epcot Signature Festivals, providing a stunning view of the World Showcase and an ideal spot to witness the park's nighttime spectacular. This three-level structure will have one of the most remarkable designs at any Disney park. So this thing is going to be three stories tall as one that you can walk under um, 
underneath which is which that is good for the florida rain as it rains here a lot in florida then you have the second story with shops and all that and then the third story will be a view for you um to watch the new fireworks show epcot forever and there was another firework um spectacular named today at the d23 panel parks panel and i cannot wait to share that with you right now so it says here and the following limited time run of epcot forever because epcot forever is not staying forever at um at uh epcot after illuminations epcot forever will be coming only for a year and then i'm guessing in 2021 this new show called harmonious will be the largest ever created for a disney park it will celebrate how the music of disney inspires people and the world over so that's pretty exciting so harmonious is going to take over epcot forever once epcot forever is there for a whole year which epcot forever will give us a sneak peek of what harmon Harmonious is, but Harmonious is is um is basically Harmon us, you know. So the U and the S is um um uppercase, and the rest of the words are lowercase. So Harmon us. So we are doing harmony, I'm guessing, to the whole world and saluting the entire world showcase, which I love it. And I cannot wait to see these shows. I'm sad about Illuminations leaving Epcot um September 30th. I'm excited for October 1st for um Epcot Forever. Epcot Forever will be there for a year. And then we will say bye to Epcot forever. And then we will bring the new show that will be there um, for Epcot forever um, as of right now called Harmonious. So I am excited about Future World as Future World is three things. They did give us updates for Guardians of the Galaxy. The Guardians of the Galaxy ride is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind will feature the first reverse launch into space. The thrilling family friendly attraction will feature a never before seen storytelling coaster that rotates to focus on the action wherever it may be. So Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be the first backwards launch. So rewind that is pretty cool i love the name of this coaster it's going to be something that we have never seen before like disney said this is something that we have never seen before in any disney park so it's going to be pretty cool and i cannot wait for guardians of the galaxy it's going to be something unique and something wonderful and out of this planet get it out of space out of this planet speaking of out of this planet there is a mission space restaurant that we just got the name of today this mission space restaurant is called space 220 it will open this winter and it would include daytime and nighttime views of Earth from 220 miles up. So now we know why it's, two, it's called Space 220. It's in space and it's 220 miles up. So you're going to take a elevator that has a glass around it and you're going to take that elevator up to the space restaurant and it's going to look like you're heading out of Earth, heading out of Epcot and going all the way to space. And then when you're done, you're heading back to space 220 miles down all the way to Epcot. That's going to be a unique experience. And if it's somebody that can do it, it's Disney. Also, we have other news in the England Pavilion that it's very, very quiet. And we know that Mary Poppins meet and greets there in special, you know, like, occasions and nobody sees her but people now are going to see mary poppins now because mary poppins is getting a new attraction so in the world showcase we'll welcome the first attraction inspired by mary poppins in cherry tree lane which will join the united kingdom pavilion as an entirely new neighborhood so i cannot wait for this um i'm excited about mary poppins and speaking of mary poppins i have to go see the movie but i'm excited that something new is going to be here it's going to be an attraction that we've never seen before this is said is an is the first of its kind they never had a Mary Poppins attraction in any other Disney park or anywhere in the world and this is the first one even Dick Van Dyke went on stage to announce this ride and that's something special and he said that Walt opened up his childhood even though he was in his 20s and 30s doing Mary Poppins film um, Walt Disney he said that Walt Disney brought him as a kid again, even if in his 20s and in, in his 30s. And he said that Walt Disney really knows how to make a room full of adults turn into full of kids. So that's pretty nice that Dick Van Dyke said that. And I cannot wait for this Mary Poppins attraction coming to the United Kingdom. So my thoughts for Epcot as we conclude this video, it's gonna be, it's very special. I cannot wait for the new things to come to Epcot. And I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments down below. What are you gonna miss from the old Epcot? And what are you going to be interested in in the new Epcot? Are you interested in the new Epcot? And what do you wish Disney would have announced in this new Epcot um, overhaul? I'm excited about Epcot. I don't know about you, but let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for joining. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day.